Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hey, you well so. You tried though. Thank How's you. your husband? He's fine, he's fine. Uh -uh, what welcome. about your husband and uh, Oluchi? Uh, I sent Oluchi to the market. My husband went to see his friend. Okay. Uh, no. Wow, thank you. I have some things in the boots. Uh, if there are things I can carry, I will yes, carry for you. Carry. No. Thank you. Uh, you tried though. <laughs> Only you. Yes, sister. Uh -uh. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Hey! Grace! Mm. You bought all these things for us. You have not changed. They, of course, they are for you. God will <laughs> bless you when they... <laughs> if you know the next plan, you should, you, should, you should have a plan by now. Now that you finish your work, another life has started. Arinze, this is not about me. It is about us. So what move do you think I should take? Um, okay. Uh, okay, I think you should learn trade in this village. <laughs> trade? Yes. But my father doesn't have money to pay for that. Oh, well, I... I've heard my mother saying that I'll go to the city to stay with her sister and learn a good trade. Why are you like this? Oh, listen, see, we've come a long way. And I wouldn't want to lose you. Please. Say, I understand. I understand. Learning trade in this village will make me have my eyes on you. If you travel now, how am I going to cope? Uh, I mean, say, I have thoughts of it. I have. Oluchi, you don't have to go. I cannot cope if you travel. Okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our love? I mean, say, nothing can separate us. I can't afford missing you just for a day. Please. Are you saying you're not going to the city anymore? I am not going. I only told you what my mother said. And what did, what, what did you say when she told you? <laughs> I am not going. I'm just pulling your legs. You're not going to the city? I am not going. You mean it? I am not going. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Ah. In law, in law. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. This news that you have brought is the best that has happened to me for a long while now. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. ah. God will bless you, eh? Amen. Papa Oluchi, I've sincerely thought about it. Since Oluchi has written our work, let her come over with me to the city. <laughs> At least, let me take that as my responsibility. It will serve as a way of reciprocating what you and my sister have done for me. Hey. When I had nothing. <laughs> oh, Gracie Barry, God will continue to bless you for me. <laughs> hey. You know when you said that thing, I thought you were joking. I'm not even not serious. Uh, hey, thank you. It's nothing, sister. Uh uh. It is something, oh. Mm -mm. It is something. It is a big relief for us. You know, we were thinking what would become our daughter's fate when she finishes writing her exams. Yeah. But look at it now. God has answered our prayers through you. Of a truth. It's a big relief that you have brought for us. Yes, <sighs> Fact, thank you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. The only thing remaining now is for you to call her. It's good to hear from her also. Uh, so that she can start preparing for the traveling. Does she have a choice? Ah, she doesn't have a choice. She will go. <laughs> she will go with you. <laughs> if it were you, we would not be happy to, to go to the city. Yeah. Eh? You want her to remain in this village where nothing good wants to come out from. So that all those boys with their hawk eyes will be running after her to destroy her destiny. Eh? See, 
Don't worry, eh? I'm certain that she will go. I What are you even doing in this village? There is no light here. So you will follow your auntie to the city, oh? Mm. But mama, how can you take such decision without informing me? Nobody took any decision. Your auntie had already told us since that when you finish taking your wire, that she will come and take you to the city. And that is the reason she's here. No, Yes, it's ah, true. Ah. Mama, I am no longer a baby. I have my own decision to take. Auntie Grace, I am sorry. I don't have any plans to leave this village in the next five years. Ah, can't get out. Shut up. Shut out your mouth. What's that? Eh? Listen, we are your parents. And we can take decisions on your behalf when it is necessary. We know what is good for you, Oluchi. Okay, do. Prepare and follow your auntie to the city. And Mama, what do you think is good for me? Leaving this village when you know that I'm not ready. I cannot batter words with you. If you go to that city, you will go with your auntie. <laughs> Oluchi, I understand how you feel. It's the same way I felt when I was leaving the village to the city. You will miss your friends. <laughs> Auntie Grace, this is not about my friends, so it is not though. Okay, what is it? You are not only coming to stay with me in the city, but you are going to learn a trade. Inugia, have you heard it? Bia, Oluchuku, please don't let this golden opportunity slip you by. Please, I'm begging you. You will go to that city with her. Agwacha Gokwangi. Oluchi. You don't have to go. I cannot cope if you travel. Okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our life? But Mama, can we talk about another thing? We should forget about the city. Hey, Mama, are you okay? You must go to the city. Whether you like it or not, you will go. Mama, I'm sorry, I'm not going. Come on, that's I'm fine. City, city, I'm not going. Bia, 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 Aluchi. Aluchi, come, come back here, sir. Come back here! Sister, it's okay. It's okay. Don't bother yourself with that. I will talk to her. Talk to her? I will. Because that city she must go with you. I will talk to her. Ah, what is she doing here? Her. What is she doing here? Don't let that bother you. I will talk to her. Eh? What is she getting here? <sighs> Aluchi, you need to come with me to the city. Nothing good happens here. There is more to life in the city than you see here in the village. You need to travel out and see things for yourself. After all, seeing is believing. Yeah? Auntie, it is not as if I don't want to follow you to the city or to stay with you. I really want to, but... The, then, what's the problem? Tell me. Auntie, this is too sudden. I didn't plan for it. And besides, I need to tell some persons before I can make such a move. Huh. I know you have a boyfriend. Yes, Auntie. <laughs> and he doesn't want you to travel. Auntie, not really. Not really. Then discuss with him. I hear what he has to say. Oluchi, I was once a girl like you. I understand how you feel. <laughs> Traveling to the city will not stop whatever you both have in common. Okay? I want you to discuss with him. Eh? I'm sure he will be happy about it when he hears it. Okay? Okay, Auntie. I, I will try. Oh, he will. He will be happy. Huh? Just try and talk to him. I feel it. I love. You will feel this joy. I feel it. Ooh, I feel it. I love. God, what do I do now? 
how do I tell Arinze that I'll be leaving the village for city to learn a trade? A trade that I have already told him that I, I was pulling his legs. How will he feel if I return with this talk? He will, he will feel very disappointed. But I love him and I cannot afford to lose him. He is the only man I have known all my life. I can't stay one day without seeing him. I am so confused. What do I do? Do I leave to tell him? Okay, I know what to do. I am not going anywhere. Please, if anybody come looking for me, tell the person to wait. I'll be right back. Uh, oh? And the person should wait? Yes, ma'am. If the person cares to wait. Oh, you come. On. I don't know one. But I Oh. Is it only why are you like this? What is wrong with you? You're not looking bright at all. What 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 is it? Talk to me. Eh? Baby. Talk to me now. What? What is it now? Talk, you're getting me scared. I really uh, uh, see something, talk. My parents want me to go to the city and learn a trade. Seriously? My auntie just returned back to the village and she wants me to go and stay with her and learn a trade. What did you tell her? What did you tell her? I don't just know what to tell her. I am confused. Hey. Please. Only don't tell me you're planning to leave me in this village and go to the city. Only don't, only don't, don't, don't just tell me that. Arinze, how can you say a thing like that? I can't leave you. I'd rather kill myself than to make you sad. You're already making me sad. I'm already feeling bad. Eh? You, you, you're there planning how to leave me in this village and go, okay, go ahead and do whatever you wish. No, 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 go ahead and do, and, and do your wish. What wish are you talking about? Eh? You're making me angry now. Yeah, how can you do this? Eh? Okay, okay, see, listen, listen. I want you to put this in your head. Oli, I love you so much. I would, I would never do anything to hurt you. See, very soon I am going to gather money and, and come and marry you. Yes, I'll come and marry you. Okay, but please, please don't do what you're planning to do. Please. Please don't leave me in this village and go to the city, please. I would not. I love you so much. Hi. And I will not leave you. Please. 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 if you know what is good for yourself, better go into that house now and start packing your things. Tomorrow morning you are leaving for the city with your aunt. Papa. I am not going to anywhere. I am not going to any city. Will you shut up? When did you start growing such wings? No, I'm her father and I'm going to cut those wings of yours. Papa, if you want to kill me, kill me. I'm not going to anywhere. Then be prepared to die. Till then, Papa. You are mad stopping me in this house. I can't I rest. I want to move. 
Bia, 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 Oluchi. Oluchi, ina kuhana. The oil is in this bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your sister. Yeah. We are more grateful. Thank you. Sister, thank you. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Everything you have done for us. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know how to thank you, but God will bless you for us. Amen. Thank you. Like I said before, if Oluchi eventually changes her mind, don't hesitate to call me. Okay? We will definitely call you. I will call you. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. All right. But uh, I must assure you, she will not be resistant. Okay, I hope mm. so. She will, she will come. <laughs> I hope so. My husband is already calling me. I have to leave now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. I will. No, no, no. My son, it's been exactly 12 months now since you returned from the city after learning a trade. Are you right? I think it's time you go back to the city and start a business. Papa, you see, going back to the city is not a problem. The problem here is the money. Going back to the city requires money. And I know there is no money around us in this house. So how do we do it? I understand. You see, I've been making contributions for over one year. And I thank God for that. The contribution money is going to be shared this week, Sunday. Okay. Once I get my own share of the contribution, I will give you the money so you can go back to the city and start a business. Okay? Uh, this is what I can do for you as a father. Hey, thank you, Nani. I'm very, very happy. This is what a good husband should do for his son. I'm so glad to have you as my husband. Hey, I'm very, very happy. Papa, thank you. Son. That's all right. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Yes, don't mention it at all. Um, like I said, it's what I can do for you as a father. So get your things together because any moment from now, you'll be off to the city to start your business. thank you. Thank you. My name is Mama, is Arin's at home? Arin's? Yes, ma. No, it's not her. Uh, 
around. He traveled to the city yesterday. Ma, what do you mean? I was my son traveled to the city yesterday to start his business. Uh, didn't he tell you? No, Mama. Mama, tell me you are joking. How can I a travel without telling me? Joking. No, my daughter, I'm not joking. It is true. He has gone back to the city to start his business. Marisa. What is it? Marisa has killed me, Arisa. What have you done? What's that mean now? Mama! What have you done? Oh, what is it now? Marisa. Has Tell me, me, what has he done? Mama! Mama! <laughs> You are crying. You have not even started. This is just the beginning. Look at you. You decided to disobey your parents because of a boy. Now what is happening? He has abandoned you. And you are here crying. Ngwa! Cry more! Cry more! Shift! Move inside because I'm not lying. Cry! But mama... How could he have done this to me? Ah, Juju? Question! <laughs> Ask me again. Ask me! Well, it is not too late though. I'm sure you must have learnt your lesson. Go inside and pack your things. I will call my sister and tell her that you're coming over. Go and pack. Hey, Arinze. Arinze, why? He can ask Arinze, why? I don't know what your father will do or say when he comes back. Oh. <laughs> mm. uh, Mama, what is I should do? I said you should go inside, pack your things. Let me call your auntie that you're coming over. That is what I have said. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Nay, hmm? is he not going through? It's ringing, but nobody is speaking. Hello? Hello, sister? Hello? Nyam, nyam, give it to me. Hold I want on. to talk. Hello? I want to talk what to you. Take now. Huh? Hello? Good morning, sister. Morning, Grey, Grey. How are you? I'm fine. How is everybody? Everybody is fine. Um, I just want to tell you that Oluchi has finally decided to come and stay with you in the city. When are you coming to pick her up? Wow, sister, she has to hold on for now. She has to hold on for now, sister, please. Eh? Why? You don't want to come and carry her again? Uh, not that I don't want her to come and stay with me. But some certain things came up which I need to put in place before she can come over. Is there any problem? Um, is that not really? But it's only that there is this thing that my husband has been chasing for a long time and uh, it has finally worked out. He, he wants to travel abroad and all the arrangement has been put in place. You see, sister, and we still need a huge amount of money. 
to pay for the necessary documents. You see. Sister, please tell Oluchi to bear with me. Before this year runs out, I will see what I can do about her. Sister, please, if I've disappointed you, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Bear with me. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. Hey. How? Have you seen it? Have you seen what your stubbornness has cost you? What did she say? Eh? Hmm. No, she said that Oluchi should hold on. In short, from what I understood, Oluchi is going to the city to stay with her will not be possible again. You see? You see what I was saying? Your miserable life, you want to keep it in this village and stay here. You don't want any betterment in your whole life. Carry your head like that of a, a, a baboon. Eh? Where are you going to? See your tongue. Bring it out. Oluchi, when was the last time you saw your monthly visitor? Mama, what kind of question is that? Please shut up your mouth. Miss Shonu, you are asking your mother what kind of question is that? Eh? What kind of question is that? Oluchi, you are pregnant. Mama, what? Awesome, what? I'm telling you that you're pregnant and you're telling me what? Why are you asking me that? What do you mean by what? It's him, man. Ah, I'm finished. Pregnant. Oh, Luchi has finally killed me. Oh, Luchi has killed me. Oh, Luchi, you are pregnant. It's him, man. Ne ago. Hey! It is good we met you here. Good. We were actually on our way to your house. Your son. Your son has killed me. And what do you mean my son has killed you? Like what business do you have with my son? Your son has finished me. Agnes, people, were you in a good room? Please, come down and let us understand what you mean. I don't understand you. Your son got my daughter pregnant. He couldn't control that long cassava in between his legs. Now he has gotten my daughter pregnant. Agnes, uh, 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 what you're saying is in fact laughable. <laughs> what do you mean it's laughable? Is it possible? <laughs> what do you mean is is not possible? Is there a not to your son? Is he not a man? Eh? Which one is not possible? Is he not a man? Eh? What I'm saying is that is it my own son or is it or someone else? Nine, my nine, responsible nine. son or another son or someone oh. else? How many are in this? Eh? It is a reason now. He's the one. Tell them, tell them, me, don't give me. He's the one. Oh, mm -hmm. I can see that you are very confused. Yes, you are confused. Huh. Oh, that's not what that is. Don't mention a responsible child. To be somebody I can do something. I know my own reason. I know this subject. I trust my son. I trust him. Now listen to me, Agnes, please. You see, I raise my son is a well brought up boy from a responsible family, well trained. You understand? And my son is not one of these useless boys that go from one corner of the village to the other, luring girls like this to bed. No. 
and I can swear to you here, mm -hmm. heaven and earth, that my son has never had carnal knowledge of your daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, maybe it's because they have heard that my son is doing very well now in the city. And that is what is prompting this nonsense. You now come and accuse my son of irresponsible girl with irresponsible pregnancy and irresponsible family. You want to stay and spoil the name of my family. Please, I warn you again. Stay care of this responsible and, uh, and, and, and respected family. Please, we are going to check on my in-law, uh, my wife's uh, mother that is sick. And you're here disturbing us. I don't want to hear it again. Never will you say this type of thing. Thank Take you. care of you. Look at you. Funny girl. You lay about without getting married. Nonsense. Look at her. Your beauty is for nothing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to see my in-law. That is not feeling very bad. Look at that. How can people be so irresponsible in their time? Irresponsible people. Have you seen it? I will go and tell your father. What kind of nonsense is this? Calling me irresponsible. Calling our family irresponsible. All because of you. All because of you. No, you see. Who can be insult? Stop following me, my friend. That is not possible. It is not possible. How can Anthony deny that his son is not the one that impregnated my daughter? Eh? Nine. You needed to have seen the way those people spoke to me. Spoke to you? I don't blame them. I blame you and this your stupid daughter. Moa. Yes, you. Please forgive me. You are telling me to forgive you. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. Go to the town, the city, and stay with your auntie. Mm -hmm. No. Make yourself useful in this place. This is the result. You know me. You know me. You know what I can do. You know. My enemies have finally gotten me. What will I tell the Christian mothers? That my daughter got pregnant without a husband? Hey! Hey! You are here shedding crocodile tears. Eh? Shed it well, oh. See? Just pray to your God. Pray that Irinze comes back to this village to accept the Pregnancy. Otherwise, you know me now. You know what I can do. You already should know what I would do. Nonsense. Excuse me. That is really what the problem is. You have killed me. You have finished me up finally. So this is how you are paying me for everything I have done for you. Huh? This is the way you're paying us back for making you finish school. Thank you. Mama, please forgive me. Did the devil walk? Mm. The devil's walk. Now Ariza has abandoned you. The devil's walk indeed. You could go. You have killed yourself, not me. Mama, I swore with my life. I have never slept with any man except Arinze. He is the only one in my life. Mama, please forgive me. Just leave me alone. Mama. Just leave me alone. You have killed Mama, me. Mama, please. Mama, can you It could be a network problem. But are you sure you still have money in that phone? Yes, I, I recharged this phone this morning. But you know, we really need to hear from him so that we know his own side of the story. Nay, his own side of the story. Even if we did not hear from him, I already know that he's innocent. I know it cannot be his. Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure? 
the monkey since she can only swear for the uh, baby she's carrying her stomach not the one that she's carrying on her back so how sure are you i know my son cannot do such a thing now okay you cannot do a thing like that so is the girl uh, insane or, or she's blind not to know who made her pregnant uh -uh, nine you talk as if you don't know girls of nowadays maybe the girl has feeling for a reason and she thought that she could use this pregnancy to you know come into our responsible family yes you could be right you could be right because these girls these days uh, irresponsible family wants to come to a responsible family it will not work mm. i think you're right no i'm very right if it is true Irene's our son would have told us before leaving to the city. Yes, that's true. That's very true. You see, this young girl wants to spoil the name of this very responsible family. But she has failed. She better go and reply. <laughs> she has failed because I'm sure our son did not do that. No, I am very sure. Because Irene's a told me that he plays with everybody, including guests, but has nothing to do with any of them. What are you doing here all by yourself? Nothing, Mama. You're crying. Listen, crying will not solve this matter. I am a woman like you. I understand how you feel. Mama. Arinze is the only man I have known. If I tell you, I don't believe you out But Anyway, trust your father. He will get to the root of this whole thing. Okay? So, Maha, what do I do now? Your father will be seeing his parents tomorrow. Let us wait and know what the outcome is. Hmm? It's getting too late. Come, let's go. Don't you say, be careful what you do. You can never run, you can never hide. And everything you do surely comes back to you. Watch out, I love you, you know. Oh, my God. Where is your husband? No. Where is your husband? Anthony! Anthony! Who is that? Who is that? Very cool over here. Come out and see the person. Come out and see the person. Ah. Uh, you're welcome to my house. Just keep your welcome to yourself. I don't need it. A man whose house is on fire does not go about chasing rats. Zeribe, please uh, calm down. This is my house. Calm down and speak to me in plain language. Oh, I should talk to you in a plain language. Eh? I should talk to you in a plain language. You want to pretend that you don't know that I have a reason for coming here? Your son got my daughter pregnant and ran to the city. See, if he has been doing this before with other people, he cannot go away scot-free with me. <laughs> Zeribe, I am surprised at you very surprised at you that you came here to shout over something that is not true and you know it's not true oh you are saying it's not true you are saying it's not true which one is not true that your son ran to the city or that my daughter is pregnant which one is not true your daughter is confused 
Huh? She doesn't know who made her pregnant. A girl that moves from one street to the other, from one corner of the village to the other. Uh, how can she come and say that my responsible son uh, got her pregnant? What's all that? She's confused. Oh, that is what you are saying. Yes. That is what you are saying. Anthony, Anthony, you are pushing me to the wall. You are pushing me to the wall. And by the time I bounce back, you will not like it. You will not like it. See, just call your son to come back to the village and take full responsibility of that pregnancy. No, it's not possible. Our son is not responsible for your child's pregnancy. Oh, is she a child or is she a baby? Eh? No, in our room, go and ask your daughter who made her pregnant. And don't go about spoiling my son's name. This family is responsible and my son is also a responsible child. You open your mouth to say that, Abby. You open this your big mouth to, to, to talk like that. It's okay. Look, uh, you see, please, please, please. I don't like the way you came into this responsible and very calm home to start shouting, shouting like a madman. Look at the way you're talking to my wife. Eh? This is somebody's wife. Are you? Is there something wrong with you? Zeribe, please, if this is just what you came here to do, to shout and make noise about your irresponsible daughter, please, just leave my compound, please. Just leave. I don't want... Let, let us be calm and, 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 and uh, uh, humble home and... Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh just, just leave. Get out of this compound. Oh, I should get out? Yes. It has got into that. I should get out. No problem. You will hear from me. You have just stepped on a viper if you don't know. That's what you have done. You will hear from me. I will be waiting for to you hear, hear from me. To hear the person that got your child pregnant. I will be waiting. Irresponsible daughter from an irresponsible father. No. What a shame. You should be ashamed of yourself that you come here to advocate for your useless daughter that is moving from one corner of the village to the other and getting pregnant. Hopeless and useless man with a useless daughter. Instead of you to hold your daughter, give her proper flogging. Eh, of the cane. You are here. You are not ashamed to come here and start to advocate for your daughter who made her pregnant and who did not make her pregnant. Hopeless, irresponsible and useless family. Anthony and his wife, they want to tell me. They want to tell me. And I'm going to show to them why I'm called in Zeribe. But what did he say? Is he still defending his son? Don't mind that fool. That idiot. He has the guts to say that his son is not responsible for our daughter's pregnancy. When he... eh? Whereas he has not even made an effort to talk with him or to hear from him. Hey, hi. So, Nai, what do we do now? Eh? Our daughter cannot be lying to us. She doesn't tell lies. Well, I will try and talk with the Umuna and see what they can do about it. Eh, hey, thank you, Nai. That is very good. I know that the Umuna will settle this case. The Umuna will tell him to. Bring his son back wherever he has gone to. <laughs> it is good, better. This is good. You are here saying it's good, Abby. You are here saying it is good. Do you know the shame your daughter has brought to me? See. Tell her to pray hard. Tell her to pray very hard that Arise comes and accepts that he is the one who is responsible for that pregnancy. Else. I'm going to give her body, her corpse, to the vulture. Hey, my... That one is too strong. Hey! 
I'm finished. Hey, hey. Holuchi, you have to take it easy on yourself. Crying will not settle anything. You're only harming yourself. Amara, what other harm is greater than this? My father will kill me. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait until you hear from Marinzi. His parents are just the ones saying this. Wait until you hear from him. Nee. And I know Arinze will not deny you. Amara, you don't know what I'm passing through in my house. My father wouldn't let me be. I understand. <laughs> but you can't blame him. Hmm? No father will be happy to know that his daughter is pregnant. Out of wedlock. How can hmm? I explain this? I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Come, Nibia. Sorry to ask this. Are you very sure Arunze is responsible for this pregnancy? Amara, you know me. Arunze is the only one that has seen my nakedness. Mm. They have nothing to worry about. Eh? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. You said your father wants to report the matter to Muna. Good and fine. And I'm very <laughs> sure they will also send for Arunze. Arunze? Arinze has killed me. Mm -hmm. Amara, look at me. It's okay. Why don't you also go Take it easy. <sighs> this is not the end of life. But have you tried calling him yourself? Yes, I have done that. But his number is not reachable since he left the village. I don't know where he is. Mm, okay. I don't know what I have done to him it's that okay. makes him to abandon me it's like okay, this. It's, it's okay. Hey! It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Okay. My brothers, you are welcome. Yes, sir. Anthony. Yeah? I greet you. This shows that you like me so much because our people say that. Anyone that meets you while you're eating likes and loves you so much. Please join me. Let me call my wife so that she can bring spoon and just and chair so that we can sit down. You... Uh, that, that will be next time. As you know, whatever chest rabbit out of it will on brother light is greater than the rabbit. Yes. Yeah, that is how I prove our That's the truth. So you see. We will neither eat nor drink until our mission of coming to your house this afternoon is set is stated. That is right. Let me not look as if I'm ignorant of our tradition. It is said that the messenger must not eat or drink until he has delivered his message. No. So please, please, my brothers, what brings you to my house? <clears throat> Anthony. You see, our people used to say that when the load on the head becomes too heavy for the head, it quickly transfers it to the shoulder. Nzeribe reported you to Domon now. What did he say I did to him? It is not part of our mission to discuss the issue here or now. The Omona will gather in your house in three days' time. That will be when the issue will be discussed. It's all right, I've had you. Uh, I will be ready to host the Omona in my house. Yeah, That's thank all. You. Thank, you. thank you. Until then, we will be on our way. As we have delivered the message, now you can eat. There's more food in the house. Thank Please, you, let's. Never mind, never mind. Not to worry. We will. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you eh? Anthony, thank you very much. You can resume your food. Ha. This is the worst that anybody can do. I would be ready to meet them and host the woman. Somebody who cannot control his daughter. No problem. You didn't eat your food. 
I am not hungry. How can you not be hungry when you ask me to go and cook it? Huh? What is it? I just told you I'm not hungry. I've lost my appetite. I cannot eat. Appetite Ewa? Yes. Now what is it again? Eh? No, just just tell me. Tell me. Is there anything that Oluchi has asked for that I, the father, has not provided for her? Mm. No, tell me. Eh? I saved up small, small money to be able to see her through her secondary school. You tried. You tried. All that I get now is for her to bring shame to my family. Bring disgrace upon me. Nani, I have begged you over and over to forget about this thing. Don't let it bother you too much. Hmm? Oh, I should not let it bother me. You know what is even most annoying now? Antony has the guts to tell me to walk out of his house. No, forget about Antony. Eh? Forget about him. You have reported the case to Omona. <laughs> Let them handle it. Let me see how Antony will not bring out his son from his hiding place. Eat your food. Forget them. Eat. Why would I look bright? The elders came to this place to inform me that the elders will be gathering over the issue of uh, Nzeribe's uh, daughter's pregnancy or no pregnancy in three days' time. And I've been calling our son, trying to call him, but the phone is not connected. Eh? If we, I don't talk to him, I don't hear from him, where do I stand? What will I tell the elders? No, this is serious, sir. This is very, very serious. This is very, very serious. Very serious because if we don't hear from him, we will be... Uh, what are we going to tell the elders? We will be compelled to, to do whatever Zeribe says we should do. We need to hear from him. We, are, we said that we produce him that day or whatever music they play, we will, play, we will dance it. Nay, that is not the case. Uh, what we should be worried is about to hear from our son that left this village for almost uh, some time now. We have not heard from him. Not about uh, Zeriba and his family's problem. Well, you, you don't seem to understand what, what, what is going on. You don't seem to understand it. best of friends and, and there is nothing he does that he don't know also there is nothing you do that he doesn't know am I right you are correct mama good now I ask you uh, this issue of uh, uh, Jeribe's daughter saying that uh, Arisa got her pregnant. How true is it? Do you think my son did it? Um, Mama, this matter is so complicated. Yes. Because if I sit down here to tell you that uh, Arinze didn't do it. Or 
telling you that Arinze did it. That means I lie. It's so complicated that I don't even know what to say. How do you mean, my son? Hmm? Yes, because uh, uh, earlier before he traveled to the city, I have tried to engage him into discussion, asking him on the kind of relationship he had with uh, Oluchi. Mm -hmm. What type of relationship did both of them run? And he only told me that uh, uh, they were just friends and uh, he had a, 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 a holy relationship with Oluchi. So, uh, uh, so I was left with no other words to say. I decided to keep it like that because uh, if he really have anything to do with Oluchi, he would have told me. So I don't know the one to say. That's why I say it is so complicated, Mama. See, this is exactly what he told me. Mm, he, yes, he, did. he told me that. Uh, uh, but I'm surprised at this uh, issue that Oluchi now came up with, saying that uh, my son impregnated her. Hmm? Hmm. Why? Hmm. Mama, I have my worry. Mm. Yes. My major area of concern is that um, Arinze phone number has not been going through for some time now. I have called his number several times, yet it has not been connected. But I wish that his number would just go through. Let me talk to him. Hello? Hello, Arinze. It's me. Uh, uh, Eze is talking. Do you have anything like, uh, you know, let me just reconfirm from him. Then I should be able to know what to say. If what Oluchi is saying is right or not. That's why I don't just, I'm just dumb here. I don't know what to say. That is true, my son. His number has not been going through. Um, anyway, let us just wait and watch how the whole thing will play out. But all I know is that my son, he's very responsible now. My son cannot do such a thing. That's all I know. I'm not great. Your friend has fouled me. Your friend has killed me. Don't blame him for that. It's neither his fault nor yours. You both love yourselves. So where is he now? He should come back and prove the love now. But I am certain that he has not been ever ah. So are you telling me that the parents haven't called me to tell me? It's like you don't understand what they call me. I said, I'm in the yard, yeah, guy. Even me, myself, I tried this number. His number wasn't going to. And that's it. That is just my own work. My doom has finally come. I am scared of going to have an abortion. Wait. Hmm? Oh, Luchi. What did you say? Abortion. Mba. Oh, Luchi. Running out of your senses. Have you not heard that all the guests in our village here that try abortion, that they are ordered? Have you not heard it? So, why do you think that abortion is an option to this matter? So, what do you want me to do now? Relax. Did I hear you say relax? Yes, relax. Let us hear from her in the first. Forget about all these things. His parents he just uh, they are just kind of saying that uh, he is not responsible 
fire of fire pregnancy machine. I shot you. What are they talking about? It's only Arinze that has the final say to this matter. Let me talk about it. Yes, are you sure? It's not all about being sure. Mm. I am telling you what I know, the way I know my mother's name. If Arinze comes back and hear that you are pregnant for him, hi, hi, hi. Why are you? Remember the people. Remember the people. So just relax yourself. You don't know. You don't know what I'm passing through in the hands of my parents. You don't just know. Oluji, why getting yourself up? <clears throat> what is your problem? I have told you that when Arinze comes back, he will take the full responsibility of your pregnancy. I am sure of that one. I pray so. In that case, let me start going now. Mm -hmm. You have to go home and catch your eyes. Yeah? Just go home and catch your eyes. And um, you know, don't you don't know how much I'm going to change. I'm going to change, I'm going to People that are pregnant, that you know now that are still going to need. At least the little I have, I can as well support you. That's my that's my friend's wife to be. Be careful what you do. You can never run, you can Where are you going to? I'm not going. I am going somewhere, but I'm coming back. I really feel for her. I'm not too. Feel for who? Why will you feel for her? Wait, a minute. Finger is not in this village. I really made her pregnant and went away. That's very unfair. So you've concluded already. How do you know it was Arinze that got her pregnant? Why are you guys talking like this? Are you trying to say um, Oluchi is lying against Arinze or she doesn't know who made her pregnant? You've mm -hmm. answered the question yourself already. What? <laughs> Um, everyone in this village knows that um, Oluchi is Arinze's boyfriend. How are you sure that Arinze was her only boyfriend? We all know about that. <laughs> Oma, you and I know that. <laughs> everyone is not like you now. You know, that job from one man to another. What did you say? Nkiru, can you explain to me what you just said? I was only joking with you. You better be you. Chica, let's go. Let's leave this. I'm sure you all know the reason why we are gathered here today. Yes. Zeribe's daughter has accused Anthony's son of putting her into the family way. Antonio, on the other hand, is strongly saying that his son is not responsible for her pregnancy. My question now is, how do we carry a man with a broken waist? <coughs> My people, I greet you all. You see, left with me alone, this issue cannot be resolved without the presence of Antonio's son. Arinze. Yes, Arinze. Arinze has to be here to tell us his own side of story. If what he has been accused of is true or not, so that he can tell his own side of story. Huh? My elders, I greet you. We greet you too. You see, when this uh, issue came up, I kicked against it initially, but Later, I had a divided mind. 
because I have not heard from my son since he traveled to the city to start his business and do his trade. Which city did he live for? Which trade? Eh? Arinze, who ran to the city? Eh? Sorry, my son did not run away to the city. My son had traveled to the city to start his trade before this issue came up. Liar. Bloody liar. That is what you are. Uh, elders, you just heard him call me a bloody liar before you. What an irresponsible man. Um, Zeribo, please put yourself together. Don't allow temper to take over the greater part of you. Put yourself together. together. Um, Anthony, go ahead and tell us what we are saying. I should allow him to finish what he says. What do you want him to finish? You want me to stay here and continue to hear him tell those lies? Eh? You are all aware that his son left this village for the city because of this incident. Now he's seated down there telling us that his son has left for the city. Who gave him money? Where did he get the money from? He got the money from your daughter's pregnancy. That's what gave him money. Are you hearing him? Hopeless, you irre him? irresponsible man. Okay, okay, okay. please. And, uh, uh, settle down. Sit down. You want me to sit down? Eh? Yes. You want me to sit down? Oh, I should still sit down here to hear him tell all those lies? Is there a... <clears throat> you see, gray hair is not a sign of old age. Because some young people these days have gray hair. We even have artificial hairs. You are an old man. And you are an elder in this community. At every point in time, you should be able to exhibit the senses of an elderly man. So allow Anthony to say what he wants to say. Please, I beg of you. Anthony, you may resume your speech. Uh, thank you very much, my fellow elders. You see, when this issue came up, I called my son day and night, day and night, but the phone was not connected. But thank God, just yesterday, my son called me. And he told me the truth. And I believe him. My son said, I quote, Papa, I don't have anything to do with that girl. I have never touched her. How much more sleeping with her? This girl, Oluchi, is lying against me and want to bring our responsible family to disrepute. That is what he told me before the phone went off. Your son is a fat liar. Very fat liar. And you are there supporting him. You are there supporting him. In fact, may the ghost of this land, Iafo, strike anybody dead that is supporting him. Including you. May uh, Iafo strike uh, you dead, strike please, your please, family please. dead, strike you. You are irresponsible. 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 You are an irresponsible. You are an irresponsible. Oh, I'm irresponsible. Yes, you and your daughter. You don't have money to even train your son. You have to strike you. Please, please, Zerbe, sit down. You have to kill you. Sit down, Zerbe. What do you want me to sit down for? I should sit down here and continue to hear him tell these lies. Eh? Calm down. This is not the way to go. It's okay. Sit down. See? I know what to do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Anthony, please tell us the truth. Did your son say so? Well, my fellow elders, for the benefit of doubt, let me call my son now and see if it will connect. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon. Are uh, the elders are gathered here 
to deliberate over this matter of uh, pregnancy with Oluchi and no pregnancy with Oluchi, the daughter of Arinze. I'm going to put this phone uh, on speaker so you can speak to them directly. Should I go ahead? Go ahead. The phone is now on speaker. My elders, I greet you all. I will greet you too. My elders, that girl all which is lying against me, I've never for one day touched her, talk more of sleeping with her. I'm innocent of all her accusations. I'm not responsible for her pregnancy. The gods of her land will bear me witness. That's all I know. And can say for now. Get me that phone. Give me that phone. Nine. He can hear you from there. The phone is on speaker. Ah. Uh, how is it? Good afternoon. It is me, Ohaka, the father of uh, Okochuku. Yes, nine. Afternoon. Uh, how is it? Are you saying before the elders of Umeme what they accused you of that you know nothing about it? I've never. And have nothing to do with her. The gods of our land will be any witness. Arisa, you are lying. Arisa, you are lying. Arisa, wait, 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 wait. Um, Arisa, Arisa, uh, wait, where you are now? Can, can you please come home? Can't you come home so that we settle this matter once and for all? Face to face, I'm talking about that. The phone has gone off. Arisa, Arisa. Scott. I see you are lying. I see you are lying. It's not true. Hey, it's lying. Hey, Arinze. We shall take this matter further. We shall take this matter further. What happened? Arinze has rejected the pregnancy. It's a lie. Huh? Look you why now? Look you why? Hey! I cannot harbor this prostitute in my house. I cannot harbor this prostitute again in my house. Eh? Can you imagine? After all that I have done for you, I have spent money to ensure that you go to secondary school. So that you can come out and I will enjoy the good that you are supposed to give to me. All you have done to me now is to cause me shame. Hey. You have brought shame to my family. Oh. Eh? In fact, I regret not having a male child. Oh. You have killed me. This guy, you have killed me. Hey. I will show you who I am. I will show you who I am. You see that bastard child you have in your stomach? You are not going to stay in this house with me. Never! Never! <laughs> Mama. I'm sorry! Hi. Oh, you're gonna come, man. I'm sorry, Mama. What did I do to you? Hi. Where have I gone wrong? This girl, where? You know, mm. in those days, mm. when we followed our parents to the first settlement, mm. this used to be our favorite meal. You know, it reminds me of a good old days when men were boys. <laughs> you can say that again. Do you know, mm? at 8 p.m. To this thing, I was nicknamed as a Juan of women. Mm. That is true. Mm. Ah, yes, yes. That used to be your your nickname. Mm. Um, is it? Is it? of 
umeme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Papa. Hmm? Good afternoon. Mm hmm. My daughter. Good afternoon. How are you? Nine. Good afternoon. Hmm. Asa. What? Hey, babe. I'm no longer a bossoka. I don't care no You have a goddess as a daughter. She's too beautiful. So, so sometimes I doubt if she's really your your daughter. Bia bia bia. Mohaka, what did you just say? Uh, don't get it twisted. This girl is too beautiful to be your daughter. What did you just say? Oh, that is where your claim is pointing to now. I have not said so. Mm -hmm. Please allow me to enjoy this year. Are you not saying that? Because I am not handsome enough. That is why I cannot give birth to this kind of a daughter. I have not said so, Zayde. Mm -hmm. It's not what I said. Okay. Uh, eat. See, eh? You see, you see this, my daughter, eh? Hmm? I don't play with her. That is why you see that I'm ensuring to do everything, anything that she wants. I make sure I provide it for her. You know, she has just finished her secondary school. Mm -hmm. And I, I also know that you have started preparing for her a good husband. <laughs> see, eh? any man mm? that wants to marry my daughter, huh? he has to be fully prepared though. <laughs> he has to be fully prepared because I, I know what I have spent on her hmm? and I will not be prepared to give my daughter to a nobody. Yes, my friend, you are right. <laughs> this girl is too beautiful to go into mm. a wrong hand. Oh, oh my God, they will have to be prepared. Oh, oh, oh. What do you mean? You want to tell me? You are my friend. 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 You
For me, this your age is a very dangerous age. Even now, we have boys in the village hovering around looking for who they will destroy their destiny. Luring people like you to have unwanted pregnancies. And anybody who is involved in unwanted pregnancies ends up with death. Do you know why I'm saying so? Papa, why? It is against the tradition of my land. For any daughter of Umuemi to become pregnant, if such a thing happens, you attempt to abort it, it's death that you meet with. But Papa, who made those laws? I don't know. It has been here even before I was born. That is why I am talking to you now as my daughter. That you should remove your heart from all this kind of happy heart. Don't associate yourself with all those useless boys. Don't ever see yourself wanting to have unwanted pregnancy. In fact, my desire for you is to have a good husband. The husband that we know can aspire to become a governor. Hey, that's my prayer for you. That when you are doing that marriage, you will start to be big and robust. We will be proud of you. Hmm? Not for you to put your hand in things that will make you become nothing in the society. Hmm? Papa, I will surely make you. <laughs> That's why I don't know that skill. Where are you going with this bag? Is there any problem? I sense there is problem. What is it? My father asked me to leave the house. What? Leave the house to me? Where are you heading to now, my dear? How could Zeribe do such a thing to his daughter? He's only a, a child for that matter. Eh? Wow. That's madness. I think it has to eh? do with Arise's denial of the pregnancy. But it has not got into that now. Eh? My fellow women, I, need, I think we need to go and talk to that Agnes. Better. It's a good idea. Let's go, Let's go straight to her house. Yes. Watch 
Chest me out from the house. Oh my god. Why would he do such a thing? Where does he want you to go? Mama, I don't know. I don't know where to run to. Arinza has killed me. Arinza, it's okay. Maya. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Come sit down first. Sit. Sit. Let's think of what to do. Hey, it's okay. No. First go to go. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry, Just think of what to do, okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. Who are you? Who are you? Welcome. Thank you. Agnes, huh? I can't believe that your husband did such a thing. I did nothing to stop him. What is it? You send your only child away. Is it fair? My Ibem, is it fair? Eh? Agnes. Agnes. Eh? Children are gift from Chukwokik. No matter how they come. Remember you are a woman and a mother. Why chase your pregnant daughter away from the house? I did not send her away. Her father did. And I have begged and begged and begged. But it seems that whenever I beg, he became more angry. What else do you want me to do? Huh? You have to do something. Yeah. You have to do something. Bring back your, your child back in the, in the house. Because you carried her in your womb for good nine months. How can you allow your husband to do such a thing and you realize? Are you not a woman? Huh? I don't know how possible that is. Because he had already warned her not to step her feet into her compound. What else do you want me to do? I am confused. Eh? Now, where is she heading to? You have to go after her and bring her back to the house. Anyway, we will start going. We are coming from the mission and we met your daughter on the way. Then we decided to come and see you. A question with question. What is Oluchi doing there? Mama, she was chased away by her parents because so, because of are you the one that got her pregnant? Mama, she's my friend, my best friend, and you know. She has a problem around to me. What do you expect me to do? Drive her away. Yes, I know. Is it not that Oluchi that got pregnant out of wedlock? Mama, you surprise me. Why are you sounding like this? Is Oluchi my best friend we are talking about here? She's not going to stay in this house. That is final. Mama. I have said it. That is final. How can I possibly do that to my best friend? She will not stay in this house. I have said my own and that is final. Mama. Mama. Oluchi, 
I don't know how to say this. I don't know. Mara, I, I understand. I already know what the problem is. Your mother wants me to leave. Please forgive me, my friend. If I had the power, I would have asked you to stay here with me. But I have no power to do that. It is not your fault. A good friend is better than a bad sister. You are my best friend, and I don't regret knowing you. Where will you go from here now? Where? Oh my, I don't know. I shall go and find a place to rest my head before my toes. What do you want from me? Oh, did you miss your way? Mama, please, hear me out. I know you are a woman like me, and you can understand me better, please, Mama. Understand what? You have the temerity to accuse my only son of getting you pregnant. You walk to this company again. I say I will understand. Understand what? I did not lie against Arinze. Mama, Arinze is the only man I have known all my life. Mama, Arinze took my virginity. Now I see you are mad. Now come back and leave this place. If I, I'll be forced to take care of that, your madness. Mama, it's wrong with my life. Arinze is responsible for my pregnancy. Let me warn you. Again, my son is not responsible for your pregnancy. <laughs> okay, Mama. I agree with you. Please, can you help me hang around your house? 
after I deliver the child, I will find anywhere I, I will take my child to. My father chased me out from the house. Okay, Mama, I agree with you. Please, Mama, if I have lied against any of you, please, Mama, forgive me. Now you know that you are lying. Eh? Calling your daughter Abby? That child who has brought shame to my family. No matter what, she is still our child. Don't you know how long it took us to get her? Huh? Mm, that is what you are saying. That same child that you are referring to has brought disgrace to my family. He has thrown the name of my family into the mud. Forget it. That is the person you are telling me to refer Forget that one. Child. Forget that one. If you don't want to bring her back, then get ready to drive me out of your house. No matter how painful a mosquito bite is, there is no way you will kill a mosquito with a machete. Yes. Anyway, uh, woman, I don't have your time. I have more important things to go and deal with. Huh? Okay? You can. You are not going anywhere. Don't tell me uh, that. What's the meaning of this? You are not going anywhere. Leave my, leave I will my not, clothes. I will not leave. I said you should leave my clothes. You are not going anywhere. I said you should leave my clothes. Don't tell me that. You are not going anywhere. Fine and the 
only doctor. My only child. My only child is gone. She is gone. What am I doing still alive? Dad, come and take me. Dad, take me. Take me. You cannot do like this. You cannot do such a thing. We know how you feel. Yes, we do. Please, pull yourself together. Oh. How? Who did I offend? The only reason for me to live is God. Let me die. I don't know who I have offended. No, you did not offend anything. Just stay calm. Why me? Why I why is me? Please stop crying. I'm sure God knows why it happened like this. Oh. Um, Agnes, please take heart. Big mm. brother, take heart. It is only God in heaven that knows why it happened like this. Exactly. There is nothing we can do. We cannot pressure you. Uh, be a man you are. Please, take heart, Pico. Mm. So, what next? Let us organize the youth so that they can go to the backyard and dig the grave where we bury her. Grave? What? Mm. Grave? No. No. Mm. I'm taking her to the mortuary. Mm. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 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 I have said that and you cannot change it. Hey! Let me go with her up. I to call and inform me. So Oluchi is dead. Oluchi is dead, my sister. That is what it is. No wonder she refused to follow me to the city. Who knew she was pregnant? She didn't even know she was pregnant. It was when I raised her father that she found out. Where is the Arinza? Arinza is nowhere to be found. But my husband has reported the case to her mother. They will deliberate on it today. Deliberate what? Why not go with the police and get that idiot wherever he is? <sighs> well, however, my husband is supposed to be here with me. But he traveled to Lagos. He was invited by the American Embassy for an interview. And she is not here. Sister, sorry. Take out, oh? Because you are not the one. I am telling him. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Is there anybody, somebody who cannot control the daughter and control the daughter? They are useless, irresponsible. Hey, enough. Daughter, continue to go about it. Hold it here. 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 Huh? Enough, daughter continues to go up. Hold it here. Irresponsible, foolish family. Enough of these squabbles. Have we all gathered here to start quarreling like children? No. Get involved in fracas? We are men. And we should sit here and reason like men. Not just men. Elderly men. So that we can look into this issue and settle it once and for all. Um, Zeribe, mm -hmm. we quite understand how you feel as at now. But please, calm down. We shall get to the roots of everything. Calm down. Why are you asking me to calm down? Eh? 
Anthony's son killed my daughter. And you are telling me I should calm down. Look, look, let me tell you something. You are drunk. And I can see that very clearly. Zeribe, you are drunk. How can my son kill your daughter who killed herself out of promiscuity? Your son, I raise it, got my daughter pregnant and denied it. And that's what led to the death of my daughter. You are a madman, Ibu Nyara. You are mad. You are mad too. Zeribe, you are mad. It's enough. Eh? Calm down, both of you. Calm down. Just as uh, Iche Adibe said, eh? let us reason this uh, issue like men. Uh, you have sent your, the, the course of your daughter to Montreal, right? Yes, sir. Then tell us why you gather us. My daughter cannot just die like that. Oh. Yes. If I do not do anything about it, then it means I'm not worthy to be called a father. So, what do you intend to do now? Please. Okay. Anthony's son must come before the gods of the land to swear to an oath that he has no hand in the pregnancy of my daughter, which led to her death. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? You heard me right. You heard me damn right. I trust my daughter. My daughter has never told me lies. If you trust your son, then let him come before the gods of the land. He has to and swear that he has no hand in what happened to my daughter. Is it me? Are you not taking this matter too far? Yes, I am taking it far. I am taking it far. In fact, you have not seen anything yet. My daughter's corpse is lying in the mortuary. And you are here sitting down, telling me that I'm taking it too far. This is just the beginning. It is the tip of the iceberg. Arinze must take an oath before the gods of this land. Iafo. Yes. Well and good. Now, my son will take the oath. Yes. Yes, my son will take the oath. And if my son, hear me and hear me very clearly. If my son takes the oath and the gods of our land, the year for, vindicates my son. Then, Mzeribe, Mzeribe will settle my son with whatsoever that my son chooses to be settled. Yes, he has to come and take the oath before the gods of the land, Iafo. And if he is vindicated, uh -huh. whatever he says that I should do, I, in Zeribe, I'll be willing to do it. How are you? Hey, welcome. Um, Oma, you are welcome. Please be very careful. All right. But then the big question is who broke the calabash? So, what are you saying? Your question. 
was if I am supporting the motion that he should swear. Yes. If he is, is this to prove his innocence. Hmm? If he is, he is innocent, let him come and swear. I didn't. I don't see anything in it. But oath or not, we not bring back uh, Arinze's daughter. Why not leave this oath taken? You are right. But in another way, eh? It will help to data and strike fear into the minds of all these small boys and girls in this village running around venturing into premature sex. <laughs> My brother, you are right. You see, the way children of nowadays behave, eh? If first one to ask what become the next generation. Oh, it is in the hands of God. Let's go. Okay, uh, Anthony and uh, Zeli. They are probably with this for what is all this that you are doing to yourself? Eh? What is all this? Do you want to die before your time? When I grow old, my children will take care of me. That is the prayer of the Lord. God bless the little child. Where is my child? But oh, she made the choice. Eh? She made the choice. What did you not do for her? The little money you used it to take care of. Eh? My kids just let me die. Oh, my only daughter is lying there in the mortuary. Let me just die. Yeah. Yeah. She said you did that. Me now. Die. Die and go so that you will leave me alone to face my fate. See, there's something I have to assure you. That person that is responsible for pregnancy of me, that person cannot go unpunished. Son, to go and stand before the great year for to take an oath is that what you think is the best? But uh, the oath taking is just to prove his innocence. Now, nah, whether oath or not, or Arisa is already innocent. I know that he's innocent. Yes, woman, I know my son. My son is innocent because I know the kind of son that I have. But he has to take the oath because. I want to prove to Nzeribe and his people that my son is a well brought up son, a very responsible son from a responsible family. So he has to take the oath. Hey, Nai, but you can do something to stop it now. Nai, I will not take that oath. He will not take it. No, woman, it's too late. It's already too late. The date. For the oath taking has been fixed, and Arise has to hurry up very quickly and return as quickly as possible to come and take the oath. No, that is not possible. It's not possible. Arise is not going to take any oath. That is woman business with elders and the year for uh, business. A uh, woman, please. <coughs> I'm very hungry now. Please, please go and get my food. Let me eat, woman. That is your own portion. 
cooking food and giving to your mate. It's not putting your mouth and this thing inside the matters that are concerning your your you yeah. Papa, you just have to believe me. I did not do it. I have no idea of what that girl is talking about. Nay, did you hear it? I told you our son cannot do such a thing. I told you I know the kind of son I have. Uh, not that I didn't believe him in the first place. Uh, but one has to be absolutely sure. Because when a child is crying and pointing to a particular place, if the father is not there, the mother will be there. Papa, you're saying all these things because you've seen us working together and discussing. Not once, not twice. Papa, I know, but we're just friends. I'm not seeing more to it. You know you will stand before the shrine of a year for to state that you have nothing to do with the late Oluchi. Nay, why are you sounding like this? I bet, uh, woman, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Nay, I understand everything. Anyway, I think they will take the oath just to prove Nzoribe and his family wrong. But after this oath, Nzoribe will feel our heat. Are you sure you want to do it? Do what? Take the oath before the great year. Of course I'm very sure I want to do it. I want to show my parents that I'm very, very innocent. Hmm? Yes. You want to show your parents that you are very innocent or you are innocent? Anyhow you want to say it. I've told you. I hope you are not making a mistake. Listen, I know that both of you were in love. And there is no way you can tell me that all this while, you know, that you people never heard anything like... Uh, uh, See, whatever you must have heard, what we had was a holy relationship. And you of all people should know that. I know, I know, but you are no longer a kid, a bad dot. So there is no way you can, you can put a goat where there is yam. The same Nago Teri Leji. J.H. Yeah, for we are talking about. It's a dangerous deity that doesn't compromise. I will advise you to go home. Biko, as a good friend, Biko. Go home. Have a rethink. Sleep over it. Then you can, you can just think. So that maybe from tomorrow you can tell me uh, that you are no longer interested to go and take the oath before you have. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Alize, child. Oh, hmm. Anyway, I'll call him on. If you travel, okay, then why did you accept? Eh? Don't you know that going to the city will automatically separate our love? In year four, I kneel before you today. And I say, if I'm responsible for Ibluchi's pregnancy, that led to her death. As I take this oath, year for, strike me to death.
Papa, I had a dream. Mm, what was the dream about? Papa, I've never been to Iya for Shrine before. Mm -hmm. But I saw myself at Iya for Shrine taking an oath. Uh huh? Yes. Really? Oh, and the most funniest part of it is that I took the oath and nothing happened to me. Good. Very good, my son. <laughs> good. I know that you are innocent mm -hmm. and that nothing will happen to my son because I know the son I have. Anyway, that notwithstanding, I want to ask you again. Are you prepared for the oath taken? Because uh, uh, tomorrow is there for day and uh, is the Taking the proper that he year for shrine. Papa, I took the oath in my dream and nothing happened to me. So I will, I will, I will prove it. I am ready to take the oath. Good. Uh, you have not been to year for shrine before. Oh, and you don't know the ways of the deity. Mm -hmm. You see, anyone who has to swear at the shrine of a year for must go there without attire. The person has to go there naked. Papa, wait. All these things you're saying now, is it going to happen in the broad daylight or in the night? Because I can't imagine me a reason going to you for sure to swear, be naked. It would happen in the broad daylight. You're going to be naked and go to the shrine in broad daylight and that I've never been to Iya for Shrine before, mm -hmm. but I saw myself at Iya for Shrine taking an oath. Uh -huh. Yes. Really? Oh, and the most funniest part of it is that I took the oath and nothing happened to me. Good. Very good, my son. <laughs> good. I know that you are innocent mm -hmm. and that nothing will happen to my son because I know the son I have. Anyway, that notwithstanding, I want to ask you again. Are you prepared for the oath taken? Because uh, uh, tomorrow is there for day and uh, is the oath taking day proper that year for shrine. Papa, I took the oath in my dream and nothing happened to me. So I will, I, will, I will prove it. I am ready to take the oath. Good. Uh, you have not been to year for shrine before. Oh, and you don't know the ways of the deity. Mm -hmm. You see, anyone who has to swear at the shrine of a year for must go there without attire. The person has to go there naked. Papa, wait. All these things you're saying now, is it going to happen in the 
broader light or in the night. Because I can't imagine me a reason going to you for sure to swear, be naked. It would happen in the broad daylight. You're going to be naked and go to the shrine in broad daylight. And that is the only way you can prove. Papa, I, 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 wait, wait. I'll be naked in front of the elders and they'll be filling my bath. Yes. And I'll be naked. That's the only way you can prove your innocence, hmm. my son. So that is why I'm asking if you are prepared. So get yourself prepared.
his innocence. Yafor is a no-nonsense deity. He kills and does not take permission from any other deity. That is why Yafor is described as God of anger. Arinze, if you are guilty and have come to fake an oath, in less than seven days, you will be dead. And your corpse will not be buried in the soil of whom we are men. It will be thrown into the evil forest. Your people will be ostracized. Nobody will buy from your people. And nobody will sell to your people. And your people will not buy or sell to anybody. My son, be warned and take caution to every question that follows. Arinze, now, go ahead and swear to an oath. Are you ready? Are you ready to swear to an oath, Arinze? I have something to say. Go ahead, you're free. I am responsible for the pregnancy. Hey! I don't want. Ari! Hey! Ari! What are you talking about, Ari? Ari! Papa. Please, please forgive me. I am the one that impregnated Oluchi. I am responsible. Anthony, have you seen it now? You call my family irresponsible. Have you seen it now that this your irresponsible son is the one who is responsible for my daughter's pregnancy that made her die? Have you seen it now? Eh? Hold your peace there. Have you forgotten you are before the great date of year for? Ezedibia, please, please forgive me, Ezedibia. Only that, I am very, very angry now. Please, let the great deity here for strike a reason to death here and now to cleanse the shame and therefore he has brought to my very responsible home. Papa?
Now, the matter is like a double-edged sword. We don't know where to hold hands anymore. What do you think will be the next action Nzeribe will take? Because in Zeribe, I know, it's not that type of Nzeribe that would allow this matter to die down just like that. Oh. If I were to be in his shoes, I will never let this matter die down that way. Not when my only child is lying in the mortuary. Eh? Can you imagine? The shame Arins has subjected his parents to. And Tony, who is, uh, I know my son, I am uh, responsible, the only responsible man. I, I believe my son, I trust my son. Look at him. Dipping his face down into shame now. He dipped himself down into shame. And if not for the sake of the gods, I wonder, he would have been struck dead in shrine. I can only imagine how he felt when his son dropped the bombshell. Didn't you see the way he collapsed? Oh. <laughs> well, let's wait and see what the reverse next action will be. That is exactly what I wait. I'm waiting for the end side of this story. Because I want to see what Zeribe finally will do. Mm. Eh? Antonio, I want to see him. I want to see how this matter will end. Every time I am responsible, every other person is responsible. In the, in the art is responsible. Who is in the house, please? Oh, yeah. Ah, one, your ma. Good evening. What do you want? One, your ma. Uh, please, uh, just calm down and hear me out. Don't tell me to calm down. What do you mean I should calm down? Say whatever that brought you and leave. Is, uh, uh, what about your husband, Zeribe? Tell me why you are here. Who is there? What is it? Now come and see who we have here. Oh, Anthony, you. What have you come to do in my company? You want to come and kill us like you and your son killed my daughter? Uh, Nzeribe, please, just calm down. Let us discuss this thing, man to man. Man to man, bend your neck there. Bend your neck there. Will that man to man discussion bring back my daughter? Eh? I'm asking you. you see, but you are taking it from a very wrong angle. Uh, I, my son did not kill your daughter. Oh, he did. He got her pregnant and denied. That was what led to my daughter's death. You are wasting your time talking with him. I don't know why. Listen and listen good. You have not seen anything yet. By the time I will be through with you, you will understand my message. You see, I know you are very, very angry. 
But please, control your anger, control your temper, and let us sort this thing out as men, man to man, please. Oh, you want us to sort this thing out like men? Not so? All right, wait for me. Let me go and get you a chair to sit down so that we can sort this thing out like men. Wait for me. Nani Anthony, you and your household have caused me so much pain. All of you, my daughter, is not lying and I'm not sure. Oh, God. Uh, uh, please just calm down. He, he, your husband said he's bringing chair for us to sit down and sort it out man to man. Oh, wait for me. Don't run away. Let me cut off your hand or I'll cut off your neck and you will know that you have to talk to me man to man. Idiot. Nonsense. So fine I'm down for What is it? Zeribe chased me out of his compound with a machete. Hey, machete! I had to run. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yes. I bring greetings for me here. <sighs> so, what do I owe this visit, Ezedibia? The request of Nzeribe has been confirmed by Iyaf. What is Nzeribe's request, Ezedibia? That your son must marry the daughter even in death. What? 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 How do you mean, Ezedibe? How do you mean? Well, how can Iyaf has spoken? No. But that is not possible. How can my son marry a dead girl? Woman. Don't question the decision of the year. The marriage right must be conducted, including the bride. Is it Libya? What if my son refuses to do it? Anthony, you are aware that the matter is for EF. If your son refuses to meet the demand of Nzeribe to marry the daughter, even in death, then he has EF to face. Even if he missed the demand, the girls must be given a befitting barrier. This is the message from the gods. Have you seen it? Harise, have you seen it? Have you seen the calamity that you have brought to this family? After I suffered all I suffered to make sure that you become a responsible man. I took the little money I had and gave it to you to go and learn trade in the city. I gathered up another money to give to you so that you go and start a business in the city. In what way have I wronged you? Is this the way you will pay me for all what I have done for you? Huh? The calamity you have brought upon this family is without solution. I don't know what to do. Hey, Nai. There must be solution now. So Where is the solution? Where is? Tell me. What is the solution? Huh? What is the solution? The only solution is for Rinse, my son, to marry the corpse of that useless, promiscuous girl. Huh. That is the only solution. Naimba, Arise cannot marry a corpse. Huh? No. What are you saying? He cannot marry her. Look at you. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that he here for is involved here? Huh? And who dares to disobey he here for? His or her entire lineage will be wiped out. And now, it is true you went to Israel and he chased you away. Let me also go to his wife Agnes and talk to her, woman to woman. 
Now, even if it means kneeling down for her, I will do it. What will that change? What will your talking to Agnes change? Huh? Nothing. In fact, nothing will change or avert this calamity that your son has brought to this family. Hi. Oh, I didn't say. I didn't say you disappoint me. Papa. Hi. Papa, I know. I know and I said I am sorry for the shame I brought upon this family. I am so sorry. Eh? Please, forgive me. It, give me another chance of becoming your son again. Please, forgive me. I will change. I will change. Biko, can't we look for another way to solve this situation than marrying the cops? There is no other way to solve or settle this particular problem except that you, Arinze, my son, will marry the cops of that useless and promiscuous dead girl. Well, I, I am not happy with you at all. I'm not happy. You betrayed our friendship. Then why come to me? Eh? Listen, if you ask me, I will simply say you should leave me alone. Let me be. I say, see, friend, I am sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I know I've offended you, but I, 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 I didn't just know what came over me. I'm sorry. What came over you, you said? What came over you? <clears throat> in your heart, that thing, you know, leave all this thing you are saying. It was all about your intentional act. You acted it from your mind. Did I not ask you? I asked you for you to tell me the truth as a friend. What did you do? What did you do? You lied. You told me that you only had a holy relationship with her. You see, eh? Holy relationship. That was what both of you had. You said, yeah. Go on. You, I know. Ha! They beg the same place. Tell me how you can justify that. It's my holy relationship. Now, look at where your holy relationship landed into. Eh? Leave me alone. I want to rest. See, uh, I have said I am sorry. And I have done wrong. Eh? I've actually betrayed our relationship. But please, I say again, forgive me. Please. Know that, know that I don't want to forgive you, but let me tell you. Do you know that my name is Josh Point? To an extent that uh, I can't even walk around our village when I'm here. The insult is too much. You know, a friend to a thief is likely a thief. So that is the way they are looking at me. They are even looking at me as one who instigated everything. My name is so spoiled that will in fact help my car. Leave me alone. Do you know what you did? When you were there, he named me the name me. Was I there? And I'm there. You're not supposed to be. He named me. I'm not talking. I'm not saying. I may be everywhere. What I didn't even do. He named me. Some give me. Just calm down. You're not supposed to be. It's not for two persons. Eh? It's for one. But I don't really know what to say. Yeah? I don't really know what to say. The news came like a shock. Hmm? It came like a shock to me and I couldn't comprehend it. Not up to two months, my parents gave me money to go back to the city and start off my business. The next call I got was I pregnanted someone. I couldn't bear the, 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 the shock. So I have to put up a lie to wave off the whole thing. Yeah? You need to understand now. Please, I'm begging you to forgive me. Mm. 
I'm even going to your house. Going to my house to do what? Do I have any business with you? Please, my sister. I want to talk to you about your husband's request that my son Arise should marry your late daughter. Hey, who me killed now? Please, this whole thing is devil's and work. And that's why we have to tackle it with wisdom. Which wisdom? My only child is lying in the mortuary. Have you forgotten that? I know, but we can still look for a way to settle it than my son to marry a corpse. Well, that is the only settlement I know. Mm. Because your son cannot render me childless and go scot free. What are possible now? Mbano, eh? Agnes Mbano. Eh? You know it's not possible. Eh? Agnes, please. It's not possible. Yes, I know I'm a woman. And I know how you feel. But it's not possible now. Eh? Your son has two options here. Either he marries my daughter in death. Or he pays with his life. The choice is his to make. Don't go there. Eh? Okay. Hey, Agnes. I want to thank you very much for understanding me. I wish every other person will understand me and forgive me the way you did. That is also my prayer for you. <clears throat> thank you very much. But how on earth do they expect me to marry a dead body? How? If you ask me now, who do you think I will ask? Hmm? Who do you think I will ask? Everything looks strange. Very strange. And the whole thing is getting me confused. And you know that this matter is before the great year for? That is my worry. As for Nines and Rebe, he can go ahead and threaten for all I care. My concern and my worry is year for. Do you know that the chief priest came to my house early, earlier this morning? Again? He came to threaten me that if I do not go ahead and marry Oluchi fast, that he have might strike. That means there is no two ways about it. I look at this matter as a matter with a solution. And I will advise you to quickly go ahead and marry her. Because he have, I know, is dating without compromise. The chief priest said that the only way out is if Chitna in Zeribe will go ahead and bury his daughter and forgive too. And do you think that is possible? I doubt because when Olichi was alive, she used to tell me how strict her father can be. Hmm. Well, well. So be any okay, but if I'm to advise you, what you need to do is there is no harm in trying. Go to that man. Better still, take your parents, let them go and beg him. Let them go and beg him. At least let him see one reason or the other to forgive. You, you are right. You are right in what you are saying, but my father went there the other day and they chased him with him, cutlass. Hmm? They chased him with a cutlass. Uh, cutlass? This man is so mean now. Eh? This man is so mean. Now, uh, 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 what do you think you should still do? Because for me, I will insist. I will insist that you still go and beg them. Yes. You never can tell. Oh. You never can tell. That man might be waiting until you come to beg him. 
So think about it. You need to come beg him. Go there. You understand? You need that. You say, sir, please. Are you with me? Oh. Don't worry. I'll go with you. I'll you go. will? Yes. I'll go with you. I'm going to talk to Kalipo. Let's go at once. There are no time to waste. I'm going to talk to you. Come to pay my daughter's bride price? Uh, 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 no, please. Uh, we've come to plead with you to. Plead with me? Plead with me to do what? After killing my daughter, you've come to plead with me. See, if you love yourself, the two of you, eh? If you love yourself, leave my compound now. Please, sir. Let's let's come in and sit down and talk like man to man. Please. Exactly. Um, nine. Nice to you. We have come to plead. Pico, can you just let us in? Let us sit down and discuss this thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Alright, wait for me. Yeah. 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 Come here. Just keep running. Don't come to this compound again. If I see you, I will finish you. If I see you, I will finish you. You will see me. Don't worry. After killing my daughter, you have the ghost to come to my compound. It's okay. It's okay. What's what I told you? You see what I've been telling you? This man is not going to change his mind. Hey, hey. We escaped death. True. Come on, Ayla. You need to look for a way and settle this matter. What am I going to do now? Huh? What am I going to do? See, marrying that corpse is not going to be possible. I won't do it. It won't be possible. No, I will not. Hey. Oh, I see it. I've been done. 
Let's go now. Let's not waste time. Let's go ahead. My people, I greet you all. Greetings. Today we have come to witness the marriage between Arinze, the son of Anthony, and Lady Oluchi, the daughter of Zeribel. Arinze. Please come forward. So Place your left hand on the casket of your lovely wife. Drink the wine. and give some to your lovely wife.
Repeat after me. I arrange it. I arrange it. Today. Today. Has been joined. Has been joined. With Oluchi. With Oluchi. As husband and wife. Now that the customs have been done, bride price already paid, I hereby declare you, Arinze and Oluchi, as husband and wife. Each time I remember that I will not see my daughter again. But what can we do? If we cry from now till eternity, she is gone and cannot come back to life. It's okay. Joy that she gives to me, I cannot get from her again. Eh? Oh. Anthony, it is not over yet. It is not over yet. This is not the end. Your son has to pay for this dearly. You cannot make me childless. No, you cannot make me childless. This is not what I bargained for. When I had her as the daughter, <laughs> I will ensure that he paid every drop of blood. Yes. Then you will know that I am God. So what does he want from you this time? I don't know. I don't just know. 
I married their daughter's cops as they required. I don't know why they don't want to leave me alone. So what is he saying this time around? That I killed his daughter and I must pay for her life. He lied. Hmm. Oh no, she pay for which daughter's life. Huh? What other payment that is bigger than you marrying his daughter's cops? Huh? What other payment is bigger than that? A man, a full-fledged man like you, marrying a corpse. Have you not paid a lot already? No, in your relax. Now say pay for daughter's life. Can you only only mean it? Let me tell you. No matter his threats, he's not going to do you anything. And I'm sure you have told your father. You know how my father behaves. He said I shouldn't mind him. That he's not going to do anything. And you think that is true? I've respected that man enough, and I think I'll take it for up from here. Yes, I did all they required that I should do. I don't know why they're stressing my life. Eh? What have I committed that no one has ever committed? <clears throat> yeah. As a good friend you are, I will simply advise you that you need to be extremely careful. Keep your eyes on the ground. Anyanala, be very careful. Because from what I see, I'm not in one day on a village here. Now we balance for village. We know who be who. So from what I see, that man in Zeribe might go extreme length to hurt you. He's not going to do me anything. He will not hurt me because I paid all that was required of me. And I married their daughter very well. Do you understand? Anyway, I'll be going back to the city in two days' time. Let me see how he's going to come to the city and worry my life. Better. See, let me tell you. It's better you go back to the city. You go and start back your hustling. At least, when things begin to get better in the city, yeah. <laughs> see, uh, let me tell you. You see this village where we are? I'm even tired of the village. Come to talk of the shame. Hey, yeah. Immediately you start making it in the city, my toward ya. Huh? I'm a cool it a mad na village. Yeah. Eh? Nah man. Nah man. Hey. Papa, mm -hmm. I want to thank you very much for everything. More especially how you helped me pass through these temptations. It's alright, my son. That's all in the past now. Uh, let us take it like a dream that has given way to the morning sun. Mm. Okay, Papa, I'll be going back to the uh, city tomorrow. Uh, but the temptations has already scattered all the money you gave to me to start up a business. But all the same, I'll still make use of the little one left with me. That's all right, my son. Um, like I said, let us forget all that has happened because they are all in the past now. And since you want to go back to the city to continue your business, no problem. But you have to stay out of trouble. I don't want what happened to repeat itself again. Papa, it will never repeat again. Good. good. But that's good. Um, good. As for the best threat. I have told you that he will not do anything. He cannot do more than a dead rat. He will not do anything. I wish you well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Papa. You will still do well in the city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Uh, Papa. Please. In the name of God, yes. Take care of Mama for me. Eh? Mama? Take care of him for me. I will. Oh my goodness. I, I, I trust you. I trust you. We are sure that she will be taken care of. Okay. Okay? Okay. And when you get to the city, don't fail to give us a call. Oh, I will do okay. that. I will do that. I will do that. Mama? I will. Yeah, I Take care. Namu. Thank you. Okay, I will call you. Why, Have you forgotten anything? 
Hey! Is your is your is your is your now what? What is what is what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm going to the city. Yes, I'm going to the city. Yes, I'll go to the city with your car. This car is the only chief. No, I know. This is more Igwe. You are Igwe. Are you okay? Are you? I don't want. I don't want. What is it? What is it? I don't want. I don't want. What is happening to you? What is it? What is happening to you? Hey, you are supposed to go. He's going to be sick! Hey! Hey, boss! Get up! Hey! What am I? What are you doing? I'm going to be sick! I'm going to be sick! I'm going to Giving him the help he needs. Before sunset, I'm so certain he's going to be fine. Please, what do you think that happened to him? Hey, hey, woman, let, let's, what, why are you jumping in like that? I'm asking that question and you are, you are, you are jumping in. Huh? That I cannot tell. Uh, I'm only a herbalist, not a seer. You're going to like I said, I've given him the help he needs. He's going to be alright. Are you going to come back tomorrow to come and check him? He's going to be fine. Ago. Ago. He's getting better. Better like this. Let's get him better. Get him better. I'm seeing you. Ali. Ali. My son mad. Eh? If that is the way you want it, Zeribe, I am going to be out and totally out for you. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> Nemesis is only catching up with your son. He cannot go scratch free for killing my daughter. Is that what you are saying? Is that what you are saying? See, you have not seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. 
The man who hates the thunder should not invite rain. And let me warn you and warn you seriously. Listen to me and listen good. You better go and undo what you did to my son. Because if anything happened to my son, I will show you the other side of me that you have never seen in the all the days of your life. Why, Oma? By name, Cobra, Adelphus, Fesnagi. The blood is going to flow and it's going to flow. Eh? I'm giving you 24 hours. 24 hours to undo what you did to my son. If not, blood will flow. Why, Oma? Zalisiki, Zalisiki, because Oma, 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 Blood will flow here. You will see. Don't undo what you did. You will see. Blood will flow. If blood does not flow, then I'm not at all. Zeriba, your blood will flow. Madam, go inside anytime I come because blood will flow. Don't come out the table. Look at my son. Look at him. Look at what Zeribe did to my son, and he is still denying that he does not know what happened to my son. Anthony, you don't have to rush into conclusion that Zeribe did this to him. Uba. Uh, Zeribe threatened my son that he will deal with this person. And look at him, what he has done. After we did everything that Zeribe asked us to do, including marrying his late daughter Oluchi. Look at what he has done to my son. Now, all of you know, now that the battle line is drawn between me and Zeribe. No, 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 Anthony, Mba, 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 Biko, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, come down, come down, please. Mba, Biko, calm down. Um, I think we have to use our eagle eyes to look deep into this matter. Hey, don't tell me to calm down. What do you mean, calm down, calm down? If you are in my shoe, will you calm down? Don't tell me to calm down. Look at what Zeribe has done. And then you are telling me to calm down. Um, Anthony, please, uh, control your emotions. Hmm? Um, don't allow anger to make you do what is wrong. You see, in a situation like this, you don't need to be very quick in making allegations. If you will accept, I suggest we should call in the chief priest at once. Look, 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 look at a responsible son from a responsible we know, family. We know. He's now driving a visible car and he tell me to calm down. No. Calm down for what? Is it true? What? That you have a hand in what happened to Arinze. Agnes, you ask strange questions. Is the situation of Arinze worse than what happened to her daughter? Eh? Even if I want to do anything to him, do you think that is just madness that I will make him to become? Hmm? See, if he likes, let him go blind, deaf and dumb, including the madness. It's none of my business. And I'm ready for him. Even his corpse, I will go after. Uma. For now, just leave me alone. I want to think. You can go inside. You are here. Mama, I'm going to tell you. <sighs> Wonder shall never end. What is it, Mama? Arinze has gone mad. Which Arinze are you talking about? Arinze that you know, the one that married the cause of your friend Oluchi. Has gone mad. Gone mad? How? 
I saw him with my two eyes. They tie his two legs and two hands. Mama, you're getting me confused. I don't understand you. Arinze, the son of Anton, he has gone mad. According to his mother, he was about leaving for the city when he got mad. Just like that? Just like that, my daughter. I heard that Nani Zeribe is the cause of his madness. It's a lie. How much can never do such a thing? You never can tell. You know, he threatened to deal with him for killing his daughter. Now but he, Mama, that was then. Just a few days ago, the young man went mad. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? I really see. Oh, Kota, you are very, very correct. Oji, Abam now. Oji, Abam now. Even my hands, they are becoming cold. My tongue is now click to the roof of my mouth. Kota. Did you not hear it? Did you think? How do you think that Anthony's son We'll just go mad like that. If I tell you that I'm not scared, then I lie. This kind of a thing never happened in our land, Umeme, before. Okonta, did you believe he did it? Who? Zeribe, do you think he did it? See, though I'm not the ghost, neither am I the priest. But the Inzeri Bay I know will never do such a thing. See, even if he said anything, hmm. that could be maybe out of anger. He can't do such a thing. But we are talking about the matter we are talking about here is his only child. Don't you think he can go extra miles to seek revenge? You are right. Hmm. But. He did not do it. I don't think Zeribe did it. Uh -uh. Have you forgotten that he threatened that day that he was going to deal ruthlessly with Arize? Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you. When a witch cries in the night and a child dies in the morning, do you expect to ask what killed the child? But that would be bad if Zeribe actually did this. Hmm. Well, um, just like uh, Adibe told Anthony mm -hmm. in the meeting there, mm -hmm. that uh, we should not rush into making accusations. Mm -hmm. The chief priest will uh, consult the gods. Maybe they will tell us the root of this. Okay. Let us just uh, calm think, down I and think, watch. I think, I think you are right there. Uh, let us because You are correct. Let us go. Look at my son. Look at my son. Look at what they have done to my son. My son. Huh? How did it happen? He was about returning to the city to continue with his business. His mother and I, we are seeing him off. All of a sudden, he held his head. I said, what is the problem? Before you know it, he started removing his clothes. That was when we now held him. Look at it. Hmm? Mm. Everyone. Everyone. Hmm? They did this when we weren't expecting it. What am I going to do? What, what are we going to do? Hmm. Look at my son. Hmm. <clears throat> my son. I have an invisible model. Huh? Responsible son. Responsible son? Look at me. Huh? Let this not trouble your heart. Hmm? I'll consult with the gods and find out the problem. Then we can now solve it. 
you see, I need no other proof to know that Nzeribe is responsible for this. Because he threatened my son that he will deal with him. And now he has done his worst. Nzeribe has done his worst. The secret thing for the girls. It allows them to see beyond the woman's eyes so that they can expose the skeleton in your cupboard. I, I, I will wait until you consult the girls before. After that, I will dig it out with her. I will dig it out with her. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hmm? Hold your peace. Okay? I will I'll get back to you. Right. Hold it. I'll get back to you. Right. I'll get back to you. Hmm? Nothing will happen to you. Right. Hi. 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 Hey boy. That was going to do well in the city. Driving invisible motor. Oh, gods of our land. My brothers, I am very happy that we decided to gather today to discuss issues that are affecting this village. Because what is going on in this village is not right. It's not right. And I am beginning to think that our all-knowing gods here for is affecting we the youth in this village. Or don't you think so? No, 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 no. no, no, no. That can't be possible. I don't think Iafo has a hand in this. And if Iafo has a hand in this, then I believe we the youth can do something about it. Well, since we all believe that Iafo cannot affect we the youth, I, I, I want us the youth to think of what to do to better this village. You understand? At least some of us that have our way, we can go to the city, hustle and make money and then come back to develop this village. You understand? And make things, you know, okay in this village because what is going on in this village, I, I, I really don't understand. Uh, my brother is listening. Honestly, I am confused. I don't know what this village is turning into. You people should just imagine, after one week of marrying a dead girl, Arinze just goes mad. Now if I ask all of us here, what do we call this? <coughs> Bad omen. There is no other better name to describe it. Bad omen. But it be like that, don't they fear? Fear waiting, are we not all in this village? The news is everywhere that Maze Zeribe has a hand in it. Eh? Do you have any proof to that? According to my father, nobody is certain about it yet. But the chief priest has promised to consult the gods and find out who is behind it. What bothers me is that why on earth will Nain Zeribe do such a wicked act? Mm -hmm. My question now is, did Arinze not meet up with all he asked him to do? Yes, brother, he did. Or were you not there when you get married to the cops? Well, every evil one has a reason of doing evil. Not only that, Nani Zeribe might have a reason of making a reason mad. My brother, not on this one. You see this one? Not on this one. For me, this is time for Anthony to act. Yes. yes. Well, let's just watch and see how he handles this. Because to the best of my knowledge, he begged and begged. When the matter of marrying this, his late daughter came up, he insisted, he refused, that Arinze must marry Oluchi's corpse. Oh. Now look at how the whole thing turned out to be. Still, he still went ahead to make Arinze mad. Joy! Yeah, ah. tell him mad. Please, let's stop all these blind accusations. Eh, at least let's wait for a year for to say something before we conclude that Nani Zeribe made Arinze mad. Are you talking to me? Eh? Is it not obvious? Eh? My people. What else could have possibly made Arinze go mad? Uh -uh. Eh? Why should we ask you such question? Maybe it was because of the ghost he married. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yes. What is it? See, you seem to accuse me. How do you think marrying a ghost can make a man mad? Yeah. Eh? Let me tell you something. See, 
when a child cries and points to a particular direction, if the mother is not there, the father must be there. Yes, yes. Have a point. Well, to me, I think we should wait for the pronouncement of our unknowing gods, AR4, before we can start saying things that we don't know. My uh -huh. brother. Yes. My brother. Where we are this your year for before now? Oh. Mm -hmm. See, left for me. I will advise Anthony to act. Man. And act very, very fast. Yes. 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 What, what what do you want him to act? Eh? What do you want him to act? Please let's stop all this uh, 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 blind accusation. Eh? That is not the main reason why we are gathered here. The main reason why we are gathered here is to discuss as reasonable youths of this village and then know what to do to, to better this, uh, this land. Eh? The question is, what do we do as the youth of this village to better this village? That is the question. Yes. I have a suggestion. Oh, you do? Yes. Uh, then let's hear from you. As a youth of the village. I'm surprised at you. Look at what your fellow man did to your son. And you have... Not done anything so, and I... What do you want me to do? Woman, what do you want me to do? Hey, Nai. Go on, Nai, Eh? Nai, so you don't know what to do? Eh? Are you sitting there telling me that you don't know what to do? I have reported the matter to the chief priest. And he told me that he will consult the great deity of Allah, the Yafo, to find out who is behind this thing. Which other find him do you need? You say you be threatening that he will deal with your son. Not up to three days. And now you are here telling me. Hey, hey, woman, let me let me think, please. Let me think. Nay. I shall allow you to think. Eh? Nay, I shall allow you to think. Nay, think on think. When our son is in there, our only son. Really mad, and you're here telling me I should, I should like to take nineteen. Think. Enough, enough, please. Think, uh, enough. Nineteen. Ah, <laughs> 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 ah, nom 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 ah, ah, nom 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 ah, 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 Let me Mine. How is he now? My son. No changes at all. He's even getting worse by the day. Look at him. Alize. What do you need? Eh? You see your money? You see your goat meat? Eh? You ate my you ate my yam. You, you ate my fish. You drank my mud. Eh? Who are you? Who are you? Nonsense. Thief. Thiefest. Thiefy. Mine. Anything that needs to be done needs to start immediately. So where do we start now? Your... Where else? This is so... The chief said that we send out his words. But you know, we have not heard from him. <sighs> that is it. We, we, we get my fish. He drank my mouth. Yes. He never keep with me. If the snake does not show how poisonous it is, little children will use it to play. Nzeribe, you have put your hand into the anus of the tortoise and you will see.
Anthony, it's like the madness that is running in your family has affected you. Madness will kill you. And you are talking like a madman. What? You are talking like a madman. Like like will you stop that? Listen, you, you are talking like a madman. Let madness kill you and kill your family. What's it? Huh? Look at him. What kind of nonsense is this? What shall we tell our children if they see us quarrel like kids? Violence has never been a solution to any problem. All we need is to sit down here quietly and discuss this issue amicably. Anthony, you are daring me. You are daring me. Don't, don't let this thing go too far. Otherwise, what can you do? The worst you can do is to make people's children to go mad. And let me tell you, don't think you have won this battle because this battle has just started. This battle has just started in Serebe. You cannot do anything. You, you cannot do anything. Bloody irresponsible. So, we the father of an irresponsible You girl. can't do anything. I will you. deal with you. For what? Sir. Why? You are welcome. I greet you. I greet you too. I welcome you. The cloud is becoming so dark for morning to come. Um, Ezedibia, what has the God said about the condition of Anthony's son? The gods have not spoken. He are for his tea silent. How can the gods be silent, Ezedibia? How can the gods be silent? How do you mean the gods are silent? I have consulted the gods, but still. The God is still silent. You all know that if the God speaks, I will get back to all of you. Then what do we do? What lesson do we do? No action can be taken until the gods speak. Ezedibia, the condition of my son is getting worse. My only son has gone mad. And all of us here know who is responsible for that. And you are here saying the gods are silent. The God are silent. Why? Anthony. Nobody questions the gods. No, we all know that Zeribe was the cause of my son's condition. He has to swear a note at the year for a shrine. That is, that is just that. He has to. Or he should go and undo it. Edidibia, it is because of you I'm still seated here. I have great respect for you. That's why I'm still seated here. Otherwise, I don't have anything to do with this, this hopeless and stupid. You will see me. Don't worry. Look at you, look. You must go and undo what you did to my son. Why are you afraid of swearing before you have? Why are you afraid if you are not the one that did it? I think I'm wasting my time sitting down here. Talking with this, this hopeless, hopeless and useless. Very useless. Who wants me to go and swear an oath? Ezedibia, I leave this place now. Irresponsible idiot. Look at him. Look at him. Look, look at the idiot from an irresponsible lineage. He is irresponsible. The daughter is irresponsible. Everybody is irresponsible. Now, I cannot do what he did. Look at Jesse here. He walked out. Walked out on the old elders. Is that right? Useless, irresponsible, irres, hopeless animal. Uh, ask, why did you make my friend mad? And why are you so mean and wicked? Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it? Is it me you are talking to like? Of course it's you. <laughs> yes, it's you. As I saw the days, Anya, the Ukatani, you are why you come. what has he not done for you? My friend, that got married to your late daughter. The corpse of your daughter, he married. Yet you went ahead to make him mad. Why? Hmm. That my daughter that you are referring to that is late or dead. Was she dead when your so-called friend got her pregnant? What are you talking about? Huh? Let me tell you something. Your so-called friend killed my daughter. Yes! I don't talk about that. What are you talking? My, my friend killed your daughter. 
How did he kill her? How did he kill her? Tell me. I can understand. You are fighting me because you think that I made your friend mad. Yes. Not so? Yeah, exactly. Not so? Why did you do that? See, the worst thing that can happen to a man is when he does not know where his problem is coming from. Yes. Your so-called friend got my daughter pregnant and as a result, she died. I am standing here just to tell you something. If you love your friend, go and look for where that problem is coming from. Yes, go and look for where that problem is coming from. And not for you to stand here and start accusing me of something that I don't have any hand in. Forget all this things, Forget it, oh. Forget it. I'm a one chick we have. Forget it. You, 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 you made the your, your young man that did you. You made him mad. Now say me. Who told you I made him mad? Eh? Who told you I made him mad? You find the source of your your, your daughter's uh, uh, GC. Huh? Now say me no 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 no. Nah, eh? Is it my friend? Listen, I must tell you the truth. I'm Sheila Mentin Tetrilam. I'm tired of listening to what people are saying. Ha! Um, people can say whatever they want to say. Yes, they can say whatever they want to say. Whatever rubbish that they want to say. Were they not there when Arinze killed my daughter? Eh? Okay. Now, Nemesis has caught up with him. Hmm. Are you, do, you want, do you want me to believe that it was actual Nemesis that caught up with him? That I should believe. Oh. Are you also trying to say now that I had a hand in making him mad? No, that is not why I am here. You know you are my friend. We have we have come a long way. When I hear something like this, I should come to you direct. Not to be listening to what people are saying. I must tell you the truth, Oaka. I have no hand in whatever that has happened. What has happened to him? Is something that ordinarily I'm not happy about. But I pray he should get better so that he will be ready to face me because I'm going to deal with him. Maybe. Huh? Is this man telling me the truth? Okay, I'm about to make sure. See, people can say whatever they want to say. I really don't care. But listen, is it me, my friend? Do you know that Anthony wants you to swear an oath before the great date he has? And you know, you know what it means? Please, I don't want you to do this out of shame. Please, I don't care. I have already told you what I have to say. Hmm? Huh. I've told you what I have to say. Why I'm saying that you are my best friend though? To come to your barrier, you know how the country is. As a Libya, I greet you. The gods welcome you. I am here in respect of the matter at hand, Ezedibia. Go ahead. Ezedibia, I want Nzeribe to swear to an oath before Iafo. Because Nzeribe is responsible for my son's madness. He has to swear. Anthony, calm down. Calm down. One whose house is on fire does not go about chasing rats. All you have to be thinking is, how do we restore your son's health? Let him say the square to a boy for a year that he does not know anything about my son's condition. Then I can look elsewhere for, for a solution to my son's condition. He has to swear. I really understand how you feel, but I want to plead with you to wait for God's pronouncement. Why are the gods silent? Why are they silent? My son's condition is getting worse. They should say something. Before it's too late. Did you say something? Anthony, the gods are wise. Leave me! Oh. 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 Hey. 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 This is your khaki. Take your khaki now. Let's go in. Let's go in. See your khaki. Okay. 
take this one. <laughs> Go and buy cow, cow for me. Yeah, yeah. Cow. Yeah. What's happening here? Yeah? What is happening? Boom. Uh, enter, enter, enter. What is happening? Enter. Uh, enter. We are leaving you. We are leaving you. And enter. What is Boom. I just go inside. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go inside. 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 Here alone. Nine. My heart is pained. I can't even sleep at night. Nine. Look at the condition of our son, our only son, who is supposed to be in the city doing business. Look at his condition. Nine, my love. Please, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Because when you are like this, I can't even hold back my own tears. I know what we are going through. It will be alright, please. But Nine, what are you doing to help out? What are you doing to help out now? The chief priest said that. Nine, because I was name the chief priest. The chief priest, I think, five years ago. The same God who confirmed that our son should marry his Rebe's led daughter. They have stopped talking. Okay? I was naming my car. Wow. My dear, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Please. Our son will be alright. No, but what do you want me to think? What are we even talking here now? What are we even talking about? Eh? Are we talking about uh, Rebe? Swearing an oath, or just look for a solution to return our son back to normal. Now I was going to make guns from Biko. Our son will be all right. I promise you. Please, please don't sit down. Please, please. Yafo, the great oracle of our land. Tell me, reveal to me what is happening in this land. The great oracle, Iago, reveal to me. Reveal to me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> On my way to your house. My house? Yes. I hope there's no problem. If that's the question, the answer is what I don't have now. There's the must summon all the elders to appear in the shrine now, immediately. It's been a long time, but there's a more have invited us to this type of a call at the shrine. I hope there's no problem. If you ask me, I think it's got to do with uh, 
Anthony's son, Arisa, is a madness. Then let us go. Hey! Sweet, sweet song, my other. The attack that wounded a lion is a yam came from afar. It is not from the navy. The sickness that killed an elephant is in the stomach. Yafor is going to reveal to all of us what happens to our Hey! My elders, a year ago, Arinze pregnanted a young lady in the city. Stella, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? What? Anything you like. All I know is that I'm not going to be eating that picture. I won't. Why? I can't. I'm scared. What if something bad happens to me? You don't have to be scared of what happens to you. You're not the first person that ever done an uh, abortion. I'm not there for my portion. See me, I'm keeping this baby. All I have to do is just to inform my parents so that they can come and see your master. So, almost you do a thing like this. Eh? Why do you want to do this to me? Please, you just have to remove this thing. I'm just an ordinary apprentice. Eh? Please, you don't have to keep it. If you, if you keep this baby now, how do you want my future to look like? You just have to do it. Please. I can't. Okay. But I have to pay the this for one condition. Uh, what is the condition? See, if I must afford this baby, you have to give me one million thousand. Why? You shout. Why? One hundred thousand. What's that? I told you I cannot go to the But since you insist, you have to give me the money. Or do you expect me to dance here? No way. Give me the money so that I can make sense. Except for me to pay today. You still have sisters. You told me that you're not free. Who you are saying it's not me? Are you saying you do not know who took away a hundred thousand dollars from the pigeon hole of my hand? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. This is serious. This is serious. So, what you people are saying is that my money just vanished from the car like that. A hundred thousand. Arinze. Sir. Did you not watch this car yesterday? Yesterday? I did, sir. You didn't see the money? No. So I, yes, I watched the car, but I didn't see any money in that car. So you are saying that somebody else came to 
this place, took the car key and opened my car, took away the money. Is that what people are telling me? Uh, anyway, no problem. No problem. There's nothing more to eat. But how, how about the market? How about the sales yesterday? How did it go? It was fine, sir. Very good. And one Mr. Ifan he came to look for you yesterday and we told him you are not a ransom. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. I'm going to go to the shop. Uh, make sure you are not a ransom. Make sure you check yourself very well. Who do you guys think are to do? I'm still surprised about what Oga has caused this man. Because I have not heard Oga complain about missing money before. I don't know what you people are talking about though. What I came here to do is to learn how to trade, buying and selling. And I just have two moons left to round off. So whatever Oga is asking is none of my business. So who took the money? Who are you asking? Well, let's just figure about this money issue and go to the shop. After Oga has forgotten about the money, he's no more angry with us. Ta, Oga chef go. Is that you that took that money? No, be wash your eyes. No, be wash your eyes. See your eyes. Yeah, I washed it. I have. And you went through it back. So, I don't do it. You drop the money, but it's dry again. If I see this, I'm going to tell you that you see 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 that Let's go to Talk it is only a child that plays with egg of a python. Unknown to the boys that the man is more dangerous than the python. He goes to the cemetery every night to sleep. Hey! I summon you. The great mother of the night. The power behind my way. My protector. My provider. Go! And search out the person that made away with my money. This money belongs to me and you. It belongs to me. The money belongs to me. It belongs to you. So no matter how much I make, no man, no woman, no person must touch it without my consent. Now, I call on you to move and fish out that person. I sacrifice so much to make my money. No man born of woman must touch it without my consent. Any person that took my money without my consent, go and make that person mad. Cause him madness. Madness upon madness. Madness that no mortal can kill. <laughs> hey, 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 this is not your father's house. You're making noise. Yeah. Stop making noise. Yeah. After all, you ate my yam. Yeah. Shoot my house. That is it, my elders. My elders. The secret behind Ariza's madness. He stole money from the man and gave the money to his girlfriend to abort the baby. Now, one year later, the mother of the night 
struck. You see it? Can you all now see it? That Anthony's hopeless and useless son is not just a killer, but also a thief. All of you were there when he was going around accusing me of something I know nothing about. Eh? I will not take this. I will not take it. Please, please, Nzeribe, calm down, calm down. Biko, 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 calm down, calm down. Nzeribe, have you forgotten? Eh? Our people used to see the medicine they use in curing eye problem. They don't add it pepper. Eh? We have a problem on our hand already. Nzeribe, please. Let us look for a solution to this problem. So that, after that, every other thing can follow. Huh? Tell me, please. <laughs> Zeribia, please. What are we going to do <laughs> to restore the sanity of my son? It is not an easy way out. The man is more dangerous than a python. Hmm. He did it that no mortal can undo what he has done to Arinze. How? He therefore has promised to undo it. The man that did it performed his ritual at the cemetery. So I am going to take Arinze to the evil forest to undo it. What are the rituals to be done? And what are the items that will be required for such rituals? I'll consult with the gods. Then I'll get back to Antony before the sun sets. Hey! Hey! Arrow! Arrow! Hey! 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 My native soup, you lit it. Yafor has promised to surprise you. Surprise me? Yes, your wife will conceive and give birth to a set of twins. Set of twins? Yeah. How possible is that? My wife has already passed the age of bearing children. How possible is it that she's going to now bear twins for me? Eh? Hey! 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 Is that bad? Zeribe, don't question the gods. The gods have promised to give you a set of twins. But before then, Antony will apologize to you before the others with two kegs of pan wine. Hey! Arro, arro! Come on, Hey, 
What happened to me? It's a long story, my son. It's a long story. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey. Um, the gods be praised. Thank you. I have to take my leave. Glory to Chief God. Priest, hmm? thank you so much. Hey! Arisa, I'm still very confused. What's, what's happened to me? Don't worry, my son. Don't worry, What matters is that we are okay now. Let's, Let's go inside. Hey! I don't want... Zeri Bey, my brother, I am so, so sorry. Uh, please forgive me. Because prior to this uh, situation, we have been best of friends. Now you know that. I am so, so ashamed. I'm sorry for the pains that I caused for you and your family. Please forgive me. I apologize sincerely. Find a space in your heart, my brother, to forgive me. I have come with the two kegs of pan wine, as instructed by our Ezedibia and our great deity Iyafu. Please forgive me. Elders, please. Forgive me. Yes, I am sorry. Mm. Zeribe. They say to err is human, but to forgive is divine. I see a whole lot of sincerity in his apology. I don't want to urge you to please forgive him. Remember, there's a promise from our all-knowing year for. You have a promise of twin babies. And one day we shall all assemble in your house to celebrate the birth yes. of those children. Yes. Forgive him. Thank you. I forgive you. Thank the gods of our land for bringing peace to our community today. 
I think we are supposed to especially thank the God. We should thank you here for and the chief priest. For if there is anything I know, one day they have not disappointed us. Who will ever believe that Zeribe and Antony will reconcile after being at each other's throats over these incidents that has happened? I will inform the entire kingdom that peace has finally returned to Mwemi community. I thank the gods that at last peace has returned to the land of Umeme. Umeme Kwenu! Umeme Kwenu! Kwenu! Be careful what you say Be careful what you do You can never run You can never hide Everything you do Surely comes back to you Watch out my
Sí, 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 sí,